Hey YouTubers, this is the vicious review of Call of Duty Ghosts, one of the most reviled Call of Duty games out there, but it still has a decent multiplayer. Uh, here I'm using the, I, I do believe that is the Vector. Uh, it's, not, it's what I could do okay in. It's been a while since I've played this game. Uh, kind of sucked at it so far today, but uh, this clip seems to be pretty good. I uh, held my own somewhat. I kind of like this map. It's got uh, you know, levels to the level, which sounds weird. But anyway, uh, you've got a flow, and you got up top, and you've got these uh, different ways to getting to each side of the map. The vector might not be the greatest gun here, but if you got it where uh, you got that super barrel where it gives you some distance, it's not too bad. I think with this game, people were vastly disappointed. The weapons were weird. The maps were weird. The story wasn't bad. Usually, Call of Duty games have decent storylines, but in the end, that's not why we play Call of Duty in the end. Yeah. It's all about the multiplayer. Right there, I was just trying to set up the stupid satcom. Takes too damn long. Watch the guy around the corner and knife you. But even this with this vector, it's got uh, decent on the distance. Kind of hard to see though. Get those distance shots. It's just not at least not a scope. Here you can you can come behind people and surprise them. I think after uh, Black Ops 2, this was a, a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. Black Ops 2 was a much better game, and so was uh, Black Ops 3 that came after this. As far as uh, Infinite Warfare goes, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Eventually I'll get to it. I'm still buying like other games from other systems. I just got a Wii and a GameCube, so... But uh, as far as doing reviews, I'll still stick with the, the 360 and... Xbox One for now until I get some decent editing software for the PC. Here I pretty much stick with the vector. This, these dogs, they never protect me, but they always, uh, for the other guy, he, the damn dog always gets me. This time I think I get the dog. Yep. <laughs> On this type of map, I still haven't figured out where to kind of have a good spot to where you can you can tie your kills together. These two fools were lined up just right, so I like that one. Uh, there's, there's some ambush spots here, but. See, that's bullshit when you get knifed, even though they went around you and kind of went behind. But oh well. Using the knives isn't exactly realistic in Call of Duty. Never has been. You can load half a clip in a guy and he still ends up going 10 feet away from you and knifing you. I think uh, on Ghost, the selection of maps isn't bad. I do like... Uh, the maps, the, the weapons is what I have trouble with. I have been doing pretty good with the vector. For me, it's so far it's been pretty good. Everything else it just seems to lack. Maybe as I uh, open up more weapons, unlock them, maybe I'll find a better weapon. If this is sticking with... Uh, the Call of Duty series of reviews I'm having. I also have Black Ops 1 and 2 and 3. I also have an Advanced Warfare uh, review on here as well. That one's a much shorter clip, but uh, I think I enjoy that game uh, more. Though I think everybody's getting kind of tired of the, the Space Age jump pack stuff, and the exoskeletons.
I think the key to this map is just to stay moving. Maybe they won't come behind you and get you. Here I'm kind of screwed because I, I suck with pistols. Here, and I'm just trying to keep them loaded. I tried to knife them towards the end there, but, you know, I tend to be on the losing end when it comes to trying to knife people, unless I'm behind them. I do like uh, having the SMGs because you can move around more, faster. Though I do like a good assault rifle. That's usually what I use, either that or even a heavy machine gun. I certainly use those in uh, Black Ops 2. I did use the LSAT. See, that's got some distance right there. I'm shooting pretty far across the map. I did get some some hits on him, but I don't think I got him. Seems like with this type of map, you just gotta keep moving and you gotta be aware of behind you too. Kind of grenade up there before you head on up. Always keep an eye on where the direction of the bullets are coming from. That's a key to maybe doing better see him coming he was a, he was destined to die there you go there's uh, some gameplay there uh, just let me know what you think and uh, subscribe and like let me know if you'd like to see another Call of Duty game uh, uh, reviewed and I will certainly hit you up on that. Thanks for watching.